Okay, Google. Turn on my computer. You got it. Turning the computer on. So what you just saw was probably pretty cool. And today we're going to show you how to turn in your computer with just your voice. First onto the things that you will need. You will need a computer, obviously. Any kind of desktop PC should do, the operating system doesn't matter. But a laptop isn't really suited for this tutorial, since this works by using a smart plug to control your computer and you would have to plug in your laptop into the wall and keep it plugged in in order for this to work. The second thing you'll need will be any kind of voice assistant device. It can either have Siri, Google Assistant or Alexa. So you can use a Google Home, an Amazon Echo or any kind of Android or iOS device. Cortana is unfortunately not supported because neither does it support controlling smart devices nor can it be controlled with IFT? So unfortunately, Windows users are left out of this tutorial. We are going to use a OnePlus 3 with the Google Assistant for the purposes of this tutorial, because the Google Assistant is now available across all Android devices, so this is the perfect timing for this tutorial. The third thing you'll need is a smart plug. This smart plug needs to be able to be controlled with your particular voice assistant. We are going to use an Osram smart plug and it can be controlled via the Philips Hue system. The smart plug is around 20 euros and the Philips Hue bridge is around 40 euros. So if you want to control other things like lights later on, this would be a good investment. However, if you just want to control your computer, other smart plugs like the ones from Belkin Wemo or TP-Link will also be fine. The last thing you'll need is a power strip. You don't really need one, but if you choose to have one, then you will be able to turn on your monitors and your sound system and everything along with your PC with a single voice command. Now onto how this is done. You first want to plug your smart plug into the wall, plug the power strip into that and connect all the devices you want to control with your voice to the power strip. You can obviously also just plug in your PC into the power strip if you just want to control your PC. But I have it set up so my monitors and my computer are all plugged into the power strip so they all turn on at the same time. Now it's time to set up the smart plug. This should be fairly easy to do from a smartphone app. For the U controlled smart plug I'm using, it was just a matter of plugging it in, clicking add device in the app and waiting for it to find the plug. As soon as your plug is set up, I would suggest naming it something descriptive like computer because you don't want to say, okay Google, turn on my plug one in order to turn on your computer. Now you can try controlling the smart plug from the app on your smartphone. Obviously your PC won't turn on magically right now, so let's move on to the next step. Now onto configuring your PC. You will need to turn on your computer and keep pressing the F2 or delete key in order to get into your motherboard's BIOS or UEFI. Once you're in there, you want to search for an option called APM, Power Restore or Power On After AC Power Loss. This is usually found in the advanced settings of your motherboard and you want to set this option to full on, enabled or power on. Now that you've enabled this option, you can save the settings, press the F10 key or click save in the upper corner. You now want to shut down your computer and keep your monitors on standby so they can turn on upon receiving power. Now that you've done all of these steps, it's now time to turn off the smart plug from your smartphone. And now you can go on onto configuring the voice assistant. For the Google Assistant we're using, this is pretty simple. You just go into settings in the Google app, click on home control, and set up the account that you used for setting up the smart plug. After you've done that, all of the devices that you've connected to this, that account will show up in the Google Assistant settings. Now the devices are ready to be controlled by the Google Assistant. For other assistant services, the setup should be pretty similar. For Apple HomeKit, for example, you just go into the Apple Home app, set up the plug, and it will be ready to be controlled by Siri. <laughs> At this point, you're already done. Wasn't that hard after all? You can now say things like, OK, Google, turn on my computer, 
because you don't have any specific phrase that you have to say to do it. It's just set up as a device that can be voice controlled within the Google Assistant app. Now I want to quickly tell you why this all works. It's highly dependent on the BIOS option that I showed you before that enables your computer to turn on as soon as it receives power. One other thing that I want to tell you is that you should never say OK Google, turn off my computer you got it. Turning the computer off. while your computer is on because that will hard shut it down because it cuts the power to your computer. I also want to mention that it's smart to set up a separate room that your computer is in so if you tell Google to turn on the lights in your room, for example, it doesn't turn on the computer with it. If you totally hate turning on your computer with your voice, then give this video a thumbs down. But if you liked it, like the video and get subscribed to our YouTube channel. On the right, you can also check out another video that we did last week. It's about frying electronics. It's really fun. You should totally watch it. Also check out the written article to go, on, go along with this tutorial. There you get a more comprehensive overview of what you need to do to get this done. But I will thank you all for watching now, and I'll see you in the next video.